Happy Monday, everyone, and thanks for checking in to Weatherbug. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson, and we're talking about some excessive heat here, at least the early part of the work week through the midsection of the nation. This big bubble of warm air is shifting east as we start to see impulses of energy kick that out of the western U.S. Severe threat today is quite high across the upper Mississippi Valley. We'll talk about the rain chances coming up here this week. But look at the heat yesterday from the southwest. Not necessarily that atypical, but along the front range, 99 in Denver, 90 to Wichita, Bismarck up to 94. So the heat is beginning to shift east just a little bit more. Temperatures from Minneapolis down to Chicago, Denver, anywhere from 5 to almost 10 degrees above average, calling for some 90s in Minneapolis. I believe that'll be the second time only so far this summer season. We average around 13 to 15 days per year. 86 in Chicago and then 90 in St. Louis, 96 in Dallas. Those are the heat advisories and excessive heat warning up near Minneapolis where the heat index could feel upwards of say 102 to 105. That's in combination with the humidity in place. Even down to Kansas City, Missouri, a heat advisory for the day today. And again, the thunder th thunderstorm threat will be kind of on the northern periphery of this big dome of warm air. It's situated across the international border here. So a moderate risk from Bismarck, say, over to Brainerd and Bemidji. And this is where our biggest uh, tornado threat is. Wind and hail will be the primary threat. And then heading into the day tomorrow, that same impulse of energy shifting southeast. We're talking from Milwaukee to Madison to Chicago as a slight risk of severe weather. Could see that uh, increased maybe down into the Quad Cities or Kansas and Missouri tomorrow. And then by your Wednesday, that threat shifting into the northern New England states. We're also looking at another impulse of energy to kick out some uh, thunderstorms out near, say, Montana. But it will be a fairly active uh, next couple of days here with the heat and thunderstorm activity. We'll keep you up to date here at Weatherbug.